Welcome to Bayou Time. I'm Jacob DeGate and glad to be joined by Hilary Detillier of the Lafouche Parish Animal Shelter. Hilary, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate having you on. Can you tell us a little bit what's taking place in the next month over at the shelter? Yeah, so Lafouche Parish Animal Shelter is participating in the um, national campaign for Clear the Shelters um, that started this past Monday and it's gonna be running through September 19th. Um, what this means is we are trying to push out as many animals into forever homes as possible. Um, cat adoption fees have been waived completely and the dog adoption fees have been reduced to $50. Okay, and what is the current, uh, can you tell me a uh, current count of uh, what type of animals that, that y'all have in the shelter right now? Yeah, of course, we're housing about 75 cats. Um, about 80% of those cats are kittens, um, just like little Frankie here, eight weeks to 12 weeks old. So tons of kittens, um, and we're housing also about 25 dogs. Okay. Let's see if you can raise up Frankie a little bit. We I can only see a little bit of the ears and see if there you go. Oh, that one, that one's cute. That's a kitten right there. And for those who are, I guess, interested in adoption, what what is the process like? Can you tell me? Yeah. So all of our animals are listed on our Facebook page, just Lafouche Parish Animal Shelter. They are also listed on our Pet Tango account, which the link is on the Lafouche Gov website. Um, you can put an online application that way and we will contact you to set up um, a meet and greet with that animal or you can just walk in. We are doing open adoptions um, here at the shelter 10 to 4, Monday through Friday is our hours. Um, so as long as those animals are already spayed or neutered um, and they're ready to go, they can walk out the door the same day. Okay. It, is there any, I guess, a process when you get there, do you have to fill out any questionnaires or anything or is there any, uh, I guess, period that, that that you try to get to know the animal once you go there? Yeah, uh, we have adoption counselors on staff that are ready to talk with you about what you expect of, of a pet, um, what you're really looking for in an animal. Um, we have a short adoption contract, really nothing very lengthy um, to make sure that the adoption process is as easy as possible and that those animals can go home that same day. Okay. And and I know the, the fee is being waived but, uh, for, for, for the cats and then reduced for the dogs, but what is the normal, I guess, what, what does that fee normally cover um, and, and what are you provided when you adopt the, uh, the pet? Yeah, so our regular adoption fees um, are $100 for dogs and $25 for cats. Um, it doesn't really begin to cover what we have put into these animals financially, um, but it does help to cover. They come spayed or neutered, microchipped. They're up to date on all their vaccines. Um, so you know that you're getting, you know, a pet that's that's already had these services um, and you're getting a big head start compared to getting an animal, um, you know, as a stray or from a friend or really anywhere else, you know, other than the shelter where we can provide you with those medical records. Okay. Now. Uh of course, pet adoption is a, a big decision. What, what are some of the things that a person should consider or, you know, if they're thinking about adopting a pet? Yeah, so really just, you know, how much time do you have to, to commit it to these animals? Um, cats really doesn't, don't, don't take a whole lot of time. They really take care of themselves. Um, we recommend cats very often for first time pet owners or people who work outside the home for long hours. Um, dogs, you know, that's why we have those adoption counselors to talk to you about, you know, how much time do you have to spend at home with these, with these animals to work on things like house training, crate training, you know, some of these younger dogs and puppies are going to need a lot of exercise and a lot of um, enrichment. Um, you know, where some of them are a little bit older and, you know, more of a couch potato and maybe people don't realize that that's what they're really looking for. Okay, obviously, the, if by adopting a pet, that the, the pet is certainly gonna be, you know, benefited from that. What are some of the benefits that, uh, you know, the owners can see from, from adopting a pet? Yeah, so, I mean, pets can be great companions um they can provide stress relief they i mean especially you know during these times that we're facing right now um people are people want connection and we can't necessarily 
get that outside of our family units right now because we you know we aren't going to these large crowd gatherings and things we're trying to social distance but these guys i mean they can be as close to you as you want they can sleep in your bed they can snuggle with you on the couch um and so i think that's what a lot of people are looking for right now okay and the, the pets there that they vary from from age uh is it all you know younger or they have older is it just a mix of different types yeah, we do get a lot of younger um, animals, especially, um, you know, those. Uh, most of our dogs are gonna be under two years old. Um, and that's because, you know, a lot of people get pet puppy pets as puppies, um, don't really realize that they take a lot of commitment, a lot of time, a lot of training. Um, and so a lot of the dogs that we get it are under two years old, um, but we do get older dogs as well sometimes. And then the same thing with cats. Right now we're dealing with the end of what we call kitten season. Um, so a lot of, like I said, 80% of the cat population right now is between eight and 12 weeks old. Um, so really young kittens. Um, and we're gonna try to place those guys in homes before they you know, become adult cats. Okay, and for those people out there who are maybe considering adoption, where can they go to look out to find more information? Yeah, so you can visit us on our Facebook page, Lafouche Parish Animal Shelter, or um, on our website, it's just lafouchegov.org backslash animal shelter. All right, well, Hillary, thank you very much for joining us. We certainly appreciate you taking the time. All right, thank you so much for having me. All right, stay tuned for more right here on HTV.